Well, politics now on The Real Story. Donald Trump reaching out to groups that may be on the fence about supporting him. The presumptive GOP nominee planning to meet with hundreds of evangelical voters. It's going to happen next month. And his top foreign policy advisor also reaching out now to Muslim voters. Bob Vanderplatz is the president and CEO of The Family Leader and once endorsed Ted Cruz. He met with Trump last week at Trump Tower. He joins me now for the real story on that from Iowa. Mr. Vanderplatz, it's so great to see you. The last time we spoke, I think we were talking about the Iowa contest where you were supporting Ted Cruz, and it was a very important endorsement there. And I remember Donald Trump saying some not-so-nice things about you back then. Why would you meet with him at Trump Towers? Well, I, I think it's an opportunity. Donald and I go way back, five, six years, and we have a relationship. I understand the context in which he did the tweets. Uh, he was afraid that Ted Cruz was going to overtake him in Iowa, which Ted Cruz did. Uh, but now that, you know, the primary, he's the presumptive nominee. It was an opportunity to visit with Donald Trump. And I think the encouraging news for conservatives is the door is open. Uh, the door is open to me. The door is going to be open to hundreds of evangelicals coming up here in June. So, uh... This isn't about an endorsement. This is about continuing a conversation with Mr. Trump. Okay. As I recall, he uh, called you phony in some of those tweets. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm interested in knowing when this other meeting happens on June 21st with 500 evangelical leaders, uh, most of whom have not endorsed Mr. Trump. Uh, should the message here, Mr. Vanderplatz, be that people of faith should stay home in this election cycle or should get behind Donald Trump? Well, I think right now everybody's taking a deep breath, and I think the reason for the conversation that's going to happen in June is to really try to determine uh, the way going forward. Obviously, there's some current concerns about Mr. Trump. There's some valid questions about his candidacy and what he'll be as a president, and there's a lot of evangelical leaders who want to get that cleared up before they either endorse him, support him, vote for him, or what, what they do moving forward. So I yeah. think this is a, a great opportunity. Remember, I think Mitt Romney and John McCain would have been served well had they had an opportunity like this to meet with evangelicals before the 08 and, and the 2012 race. So I applaud Mr. Trump for saying, I'm willing to sit down and meet with these, these people. Okay. Uh, real quickly, before I get on to the Muslim outreach as well, do you think it's important to see who he picks for VP? I mean, could that be a, a difference maker? And, or does it hang a lot on the Supreme Court justices? Because the next president could, could be naming four new people. Yes, and. I think the first indicator of who he's going to surround himself with is going to be with the vice president pick. We're going to take a very close look at that. But also at the Supreme Court justices. We were encouraged by the 11 names he put out last week about potential Supreme Court justice picks. But then he also added there may be more to add to the list. So we'd like to know, well, who are the others that would be added to the list? The big key in leadership, and you know this, Gretchen, is who do you surround yourself with? And we are going to be very interested in who does he surround himself with uh, as he runs this campaign. Okay, real quickly, because I teased this, there's been outreach to the Muslim community as well by Walid Faraz, who's a military foreign policy advisor to Mr. Trump. That's also smart in your mind? You know, I, I, yeah, I think what Mr. Trump is doing right now, he's, he's grappling with the reality that he's going to be the nominee of the Republican Party. He's looking at being president. I think he's now looking at having conversations with a lot of different groups. Uh, I'm not going to say if that was smart or not smart. He's got to lead his own campaign. I'm more concerned about the pro-family issues that we represent hmm. and if we can trust him when he gets elected president. All right. Uh, make sure to be sure to let us know uh, when that endorsement may or may not be coming from you. Mr. Vanderplatz, great to see you. Thank you.